we, we talk a lot about uh, what's actually happening outside of our body, you know, in, in the air, in the environment. Uh, one of the things that even maybe the most important thing about this uh, naturalizer, the things that it does to our bodies itself. Can you explain a little bit about it, go into that a little bit? Well, it's one of the things that really surprised me uh, because I, I really thought still when we first developed the product that the answer was fixing the air. Mm -hmm. And it turns out it's not. Uh, this thing, these energized elements that we have uh, help our body's overall defensive system in so many different ways. And uh, I originally began to think that there was maybe four major ways that it helped, and now I'm thinking there's five and six. And, I, and what we're finding out is every day uh, we are, ex by, through our customers, experiencing things that happen to them when they have mm -hmm. all of a sudden mm -hmm. fresh air and, and a good amount of fresh air, not just taking a two second outdoor uh, breath of air mm -hmm. and then coming back in again. I'm talking about living in fresh air. So one of the things that happens and is the most significant is that fresh air, those active elements are absolutely essential to help keep our respiratory system clean. And you wouldn't think, you know, why would you have to do that? I mean, we've lived for eons and eons without things to make our respiratory system clean because we lived outside. Right. But here's what happens. As, as you know, outdoor air is not terribly clean. And so just as in the outdoor air, when you take a breath, what's going to happen is all of those little particles and all that stuff that's in the air goes in. And your body's got all these great defenses in them from the hair and your nose to the mucus linings and everything else to clean it up so by the time it gets down to the lungs, mm -hmm. there's nothing there to clog the lungs and it just transfers the carbon dioxide and oxygen. And so what's supposed to happen is now when you exhale, all that stuff that got trapped going in is supposed to come out. Okay. Well, outdoors, with all these active elements, when you take a breath, it causes new mucus to be generated, fresh mucus to be generated, and so it captures this stuff but it captures it kind of loose. Mm -hmm. And so when you exhale, it's able to get rid of it. Now, if you don't have those active elements, your mucus kind of gets a little thicker. So now when you breathe that element, you breathe the, the pollutant in, mm -hmm. it gets stuck there. And when you exhale, it doesn't come out. Mm -hmm. Well, if it stays stuck to the lining, then it can be absorbed into the body. Right. And once it's absorbed into the body, you've got all kinds of problems. Either it clogs up uh, the the lungs so you can't get good transfer of oxygen, or you start to experience uh, immune system problems or allergy problems, because now this stuff, your body's immune system is one way or the other got to deal with this stuff, and right. you can't exhale it, it's got to get it out some other way. So breathing, just having a fresh, clean respiratory system uh, is just the exact same thing that would happen if you could spend all day working outside. And as a matter of fact, people that do work outside will not experience as great a change as people who do not live outside. Sure. And so that explains why there's a difference in reaction between people. But here's some of the things that happen. When you have, when your system is clean, you get more oxygen in your system. And we can, we've seen that. We've seen mm -hmm. blood levels of oxygen rise anywhere from 5, 10, 50 percent. Right, right. Immense changes. Oxygen in your system keeps your brain alive. So when, when your oxygen level goes up, uh, your mental acuity goes up, uh, your ability to retain information, your ability to learn, uh, your appetite goes up, uh, your interest level goes up. And we've seen especially among the elderly where they are trapped indoors for large periods of right. time and they never get any fresh air, that gradually they become more and more lethargic. Well, you put some fresh air in there. And it seems like that they get a, a new lease on life. Their mm -hmm. interest level goes up, spark goes up in their eye. Nothing happened except that their blood oxygen level went up. And that's huge. But even, even people that don't maybe have that big a change, mm -hmm. you see all kinds of other things happening. Snoring. You know, why, why do people snore? They snore because they're trying to get air in. You're, you're asleep and your body is saying, more air, more right. air. And your, so your heart has to start pumping and your blood pressure goes up and your lungs are pumping more and you're, you're basically working and you're, you're snoring. Mm -hmm. 
people with sleep apnea. If it's environmentally induced, they discover that that when they have fresh air and they're getting more and they're not gasping, mm -hmm. they don't start that trigger. And many of them are able to put aside their CPAPs. And some of them can. Right. But many, many of them can. And so all of these things that are going on just because you're now getting fresh air, and we used to get fresh air. You know, even, the, as I mentioned, the elderly. We used to take the elderly and take them outside and set them in the fresh air, mm -hmm. in a wheelchair. We don't do that anymore. Not going to happen anymore either because we have too many of us, and, there's, and it's just not going to happen. Getting Beyond respiratory, and we know how important that is, and, you know, when people talk about going outside and getting a breath of fresh air for just to get your mind clear and all that. There are other things that are going on too. There really are. And it's things that we just totally take for granted. Just think about how many times that you've talked to somebody who's got an allergy. You know, mm -hmm. there was a time not very many years ago right. when an allergy was treated by a doctor. It wasn't even a specialty. They just put a salve on a rash and called it good. Mm -hmm. You know, and now everybody is reacting. Why is that happening? Because again, we do not have fresh air in our home. One, there's two things that really happen that help us, help our bodies in fresh air deal with the allergens. Because there are plenty of allergens right, outside. Right. All those things that we have indoors came from outdoors. And yet we don't seem to suffer outdoors very much except during big pollen blooms and things like right, that. Right. But then only for a week and then it's gone. But here's what happens. For an allergy to, an allergen to have effect, it has to somehow attach to your skin. And we focused all this time on trying to get the allergen out of the area mm -hmm. so that we needed to get uh, cat dander, for example, which I always love to talk about because right. it's such a powerful allergen. Right. Try to get the cat dander out of there because, because you know people that as soon as they're in a house that ever had a cat in it in the last that 20 years, yeah. they're reacting. Why are they reacting? Because the cat dander's got a little hair on it. Mm -hmm. And when that hair touches a receptor on your skin, it hooks up there and your body senses an invasion and your immune system springs into an action and says, we got to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And so it creates some histamines and stuff like that to get out to deal with it. So if you've ever noticed that that does not happen outdoors, barn cats walking up and touching somebody who's horribly allergic to cats don't trigger that reaction. It's only indoors. So what happens? Fresh air has the ability to knock that little hair off. Huh. And so the, essentially what we are doing is deactivating the allergen. It's still there, the cat dander is still right. there, and by, by our system will eventually get rid of it, but we can have somebody walk into a room with a cat and it operates so fast that they'll never even know that it was there. And the same thing is true with molds, mm -hmm. the same thing is true with an awful lot of the chemicals that are in the air, but mostly the natural things in the air that we're allergic to because we can deactivate them and de uh, by just the energi energized elements of the air, we can cope with them. And that makes so much sense because that's exactly what mm. happens outside. Uh, the, the cat dander is still in the barn. It just is deactivated. It just, right, it can't stick. Yep. It can't, makes, makes, your, makes the Velcro not work. Yep. I mean, that, that's, uh, I, you never think about, you never think about the, the minute science, the microscopic science. I, at least I don't. I just like a pet, you know, you pet a cat and... The, uh, along, along the same lines, the importance of deactivating allergens. Mm -hmm. uh, many people don't realize it, but the environments are also making their pets sick. <laughs> uh, I mean, the pets are now... It makes sense, right. Dogs right. and cats were designed to live outside. Mm -hmm. And we pull them inside and they don't have fresh air either. And so there's a whole new science, a whole new uh, uh, leg uh, of uh, veterinary medicine dealing with allergies of pets. Right. And what you really have to do is either get them outside in the fresh air, which you can't do mm -hmm. many times, mm -hmm. or bring the fresh air in. We've seen so many incidences where the pet itself has had behavioral problems, tearing things up, uh, right. starting to develop hot spots. Uh, where they just lick themselves right. uh, Take raw. Right, fur off, right. And by getting that in the fresh air, you deactivate all those kinds of things that they're reacting to and make the environment uh, good for them as well.